Hello and welcome, I'm Nefe42 and in this video I'm going to show you how to install Stream Deck on Arch Linux. Okay, so this is Manjaro I'm using on Arch Linux um, and through the Add Remove Software tool you can actually just click on here and go to Stream Deck Stream Deck and you see Stream Deck UI I think you can install it through this uh, this is the way that you can do it. Uh, the other way is to obviously, if you uh, want to do it the command line way, there is a, um, I don't think there's a Pac-Man package for it. So you can go Pac-Man S um, stream de deck hyphen I. Uh, there's no stream deck UI. On Pac-Man, but what you can do instead is if you have yay, you can do s stream deck UI, and it will find it. There it is. Uh, so just enter your way through. Press a Y on that one. It'll install the Python and all that kind of stuff that you need. And essentially, this is just using the this doing the exact same thing as what this would do. Um, compiling everything, putting it all in the right order, order, and then hopefully in a moment, <laughs> once this is all done, and there we go. Now it's installed. So um, yeah, that's Steam Stream Deck. Stream Deck. I did recently buy a Steam Deck as well, so it kind of it does um, go a bit funny sometimes. When I'm trying to when I'm trying to talk about it, um, I'll I'll mix the two things up, and they are very closely named. So this is the Stream Deck UI, which is the software that someone has created. Someone very, very thoughtful has created on um, GitHub. Here is the actual GitHub page for it, so that you guys can see Stream Deck UI uh, is made by, or it might actually be made by. Well, I'm guessing by the hour, it's made by Timothy Crosley. Um, very generously, he's set this up on here. Um, there are different things that you can do uh, with the Stream Deck uh, UI tool. Um, and one of them is you, you can actually have different presets and you can have different Stream Decks. So there's lists of different ones here. You can have different pages for your Stream Deck up to 10. I don't know if you can add more than that. Uh, I've not actually had to go that high. <laughs> but the only downside to Stream Deck UI on Linux is it doesn't come with the cool library that you get when you are using it on Windows, uh, which is a very nice, neat library with um, pretty much click to download icons, buttons, labels, all this type of stuff, um, which is really nice looking. Uh, but you can... Uh, you can just go into here, you can just go into, I don't know, say you want to set up a, oh god, what can I set up? We will, actually, I need to set up a few things on here. So let's go, we'll set up a Lutris, I guess, or, a, no, maybe we'll do a Steam. Uh, I'll, I'll tell you what, we'll do one for Terminal. So the command to open Terminal is Terminal, maybe, no. What Terminal is this? Terminal emulator okay so it's probably xfc for terminal uh, but you can go in here and go edit application and it will tell you here the command xfc for terminal so if i type in xfce4 hyphen terminal it will load one um which is cool so what you can do is you can click on one of these now we'll click on that we'll say we want the command to be xfce4 terminal and then we can put terminal on there. And now on my stream deck in real in real life, it does say, uh, and in the image that I just flashed up there, it says terminal on there. Uh, if you want to, you can create an image. So I don't really have an image of terminal, but let's go in here. We'll go terminal, mill icon. That one looks cool. Uh, so we'll find one that looks quite nice. 
There must be like a website for downloading icons or something like that, which are hopefully free to use. We'll save image as. I don't know if you'd like to do this. So, yeah, maybe subject copyright, blah, 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 that kind of stuff. But we'll see. Um, terminal.png. Um, and go back here and go back to the desktop and go to terminal.png. And now that is on there. Uh, you can also get to press keys. You can switch pages as brightness is up and down. Uh, and you can get it to write text, which is kind of cool. So you can, you can have it as like a, a macro key to write down. Oh, uh, well, let's do it for a different one, actually. So we'll go to this one. Hello there. Uh, and then we'll say label hello. Now, if I press the button, it says hello there. <laughs> oh, that's cool. I, I, I've not previously seen that, but there it is. It, <laughs> it works. It's cool. It's nice. Uh, I like the Stream Deck. To be honest, it is a very nice piece of kit. Um, I will have a full review of this uh, hardware a little bit later on, uh, once I have had a bit more time to go around with it. Um, it was actually one of the... One of the really cool things that I purchased recently, other than a Steam Deck, I guess, which is pretty cool as well. I bought, yeah, both within like a couple of months of each other. Uh, I wasn't expecting to get the stream, the stream Deck, the Steam Deck, sorry, the actual Steam Deck, uh, as soon as I did. Um, but I did, and it's really cool, and I really enjoy it. Uh, and this isn't about that, so I'll stop talking about that now. Um, but yeah, that's the Stream Deck. UI on here. It's a very cool uh, piece of kit. Um, you do need to know a little bit of Linux, I guess, in order to figure out which goes where um, so that you can send things to different areas, as in the art of what to launch, stuff like that. Uh, so, I mean, I guess Discord is probably Discord. Discord um, Canary, I think, is what I'm trying to use now. Discord. Does that press that? Does it load Discord? It does. It did. It loaded on my other screen, and it, it wants me to do an update for it, which is annoying. But there we go. That's fine. Um, so yeah, that's it for this video. If you have anything else you want to know about this, um, make sure to put it in the comments below. Um, oh, as you see in the settings here, you can actually change the brightness of the screen so that they are brighter or darker and it does work, update that in real time as well so you can see um, and you can get it to dim after a certain amount of time and you can get it to dim to a certain percentage um, oh that's cool maybe I'll do this then we'll go after one minute go from pretty bright down to I like that that's nice a little bit of maybe energy saving <laughs> <laughs> over a year I mean maybe I'd save like 10 years but there we go that's that thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one